Samsung is gearing up for the release of One UI 8.0, and we're starting to see some exciting leaks that give us a glimpse into what's coming. Today, we're focusing on one of Samsung's core apps, Samsung Reminder, which is getting a fresh new look and improved usability in the upcoming update. As you might already know, One UI 8.0 is expected to start rolling out as early as this month, and we've already seen early internal builds surface online. But now, thanks to a new leak shared by ex-user Aftheordism, we have our first real look at the redesigned Samsung Reminder app, and it's looking much cleaner and more user-friendly than before. Let's break down exactly what's changing. First up is the overall layout. In the current version on One UI 7.0, the Reminder app features a side menu, or hamburger menu, on the left side of the home screen. That's where you'll find the categories like Today, Scheduled, Important, and so on. While functional, this layout can feel a bit cluttered, especially for users who prefer minimal designs. But with One UI 8.0, Samsung is doing away with that side menu entirely. Instead, the Categories section is moving right to the top of the home screen. This makes the interface look much simpler and more intuitive, giving you quicker access to your most used sections without digging through side menus. According to the leak, there are six category cards now displayed at the top of the screen. Today, scheduled important place, no alert completed. This new card style layout lets you jump straight into what matters most, whether it's reminders scheduled for today, location-based tasks, or completed items. And if you think these cards are taking up too much space, don't worry. Samsung has thought of that too. You can simply scroll down to minimize their size, keeping the interface clean while still offering quick access when needed. Below the category cards, you'll see your recent reminders, displayed in the same familiar list format. This ensures that while the top layout is getting streamlined, the app still keeps the functionality and usability that Samsung Reminder users rely on. Now let's talk about the Add Reminder section, which has also seen a minor yet meaningful design change. Previously, in One UI 7.0, you had a separate plus button on the right side of the screen that you'd tap to add a new reminder. But in the One UI 8.0 redesign, that plus icon is now embedded inside the text field on the left side. This not only gives the design a more modern feel, but also reduces the number of floating buttons, keeping the interface uncluttered. In addition to this, it looks like Samsung has decided to remove the Sort By button altogether. While this might concern some power users at first glance, it seems like Samsung is focusing more on simplicity and ease of use, which is in line with the overall theme of One UI 8.0. So to sum it up, the Samsung Reminder app in One UI 8.0 is getting a much cleaner home screen, quicker access to categories, a redesigned ad reminder field, and a minimal distraction-free layout. These changes aim to make the app easier and faster to use, especially for people who rely on it daily for productivity and task management. Right now, this is all we know from the latest leak. But the good news is that the One UI 8 beta program is expected to open very soon, possibly within days. That means we're going to get hands-on access to the new features not only in Samsung Reminder, but also across all stock Samsung apps, including notes, calendar, and even messages. As always, Samsung continues to improve its ecosystem with thoughtful design updates, and this refresh of the Reminder app shows that even small changes can make a big difference in everyday usability. Keep an eye out for more One UI 8.0 leaks and updates in the coming days, so if you want to stay up to date with everything Samsung has in store, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. And before we wrap up, what do you think of the new Samsung Reminder layout? Do you like the simplified design, or do you prefer having the categories hidden in the side menu? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video with more One UI 8.0 news and updates.